get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. Free? You in there? About time, Chica. It'll be all right, V. You'll see. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like uh, family. Take care, V. Maybe you'll find your own down in that sea. Sweet dreams, Dave. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Afterlife. See you there. They're opening. I think she sees me now. V, can you hear me? I think I can hear. I can talk. Good. About time. Read. Uh, so you seem different somehow. Even almost look like. Uh... Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. I'm no exception. Nice, nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. I was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV, you weren't there. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork, training recruits, nothing to write home about. Not your style of work, sounds like. I couldn't manage field work anyway. Not anymore. Need to ask, how's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off updates for a while now she's alive that's all I know pretty nice welcome just missing flowers and a get well card given I'm here guess things worked out all right huh never that simple doc saved you you're alive here in a big ass butt in there because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the engram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant well, could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. 
there's uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. Life down the shitter. It's rough, I know. It'll take, uh, it'll take getting used to, but it gets better. Trust me. Two years and zap nerves that all your best docs can manage. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps. Wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? Are you... Are you all right? I need... I need... Need some air. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. Didn't need to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. I don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death, just a waste away here. Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. Do I walk? Do I... Okay, what's on laptop? Nothing. Call my friends. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't... Hey there, Vic. Is it really you? 
What? Rate me off that fast? <laughs> Gotta admit, I knocked back a glass or two over your symbolic grave. But how are you... Uh, why? So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean, they saved me, new lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me, Mel. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. the one I had in mind. I could love it. But, sorry. Zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. It is truly a pleasure to see you back and in good health. Though I cannot help but notice your rather vacant stare. Might I ask how you're feeling at the present moment? The hell? Hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it's any comfort to you, from where I sit, not as much has changed as you might think. I must merely make donations of tribute to somewhat different people. How's Biz, Del? Betty's flowing in? Oh, it's all going rather splendid. I've even entered into a partnership with the illustrious trauma team. And apart from that, kids giving you any trouble? You jest, but in fact a situation that I have been in for some time. A number of insubordinate vehicles in my fleet refused to fall in line. They were quickly neutralized by the relevant authorities and all returned to normal. Huh. So, bribes. Whose palms you grease in these days? <laughs> CPD let that slide. In the event of any conflict, the weaker yield to the mighty. Something must never change. I think we could swing by my place. Of course. I shall call your address now and. Oh. What's up? It appears you were evicted a year ago due to unpaid rent. I'm afraid I cannot fulfill your request. <sighs> Me. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Edo's author of Arasaka. 
Osaka's biography, A Dragon Team. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Huh. Guess the borough was right. The nail that protrudes from the wall gets hammered. Perhaps competent management of a corporation was neither his passion nor aim. Or maybe folks are using conspiracy theories to explain away his incompetence. Another possibility, indeed. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Are you talking to me? No. To myself. It doesn't matter. We have arrived. I shall await your return here. Better get going. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel. But that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Jesus, man. Hey, girl, hold up. Oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Was born in this town. Can't be more from around here than that. Oh, really? Then why I never seen you over at Gabrielle's? Don't know, no, Gabrielle. See that? I knew it. Who's Gabrielle? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? Oh. What is this? The chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. Not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Misty Olszewski. Is she here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah. Private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. 
I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. You're gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I not back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Missy Shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. So... Misty... What happened? She, uh... Moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all? Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? Huh. It ain't easy, but can't call it all bad. I'm back. Indefinitely. Finally managed it. A hard won victory's still a win. And you? Feeling like a winner these days, Vic? What are you trying to say exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems older somehow less cozy i don't suppose you're talking about the new ac you know what i mean Vic. what can i tell you corporate standards guidelines recommendations you match them end of story but i dare say i managed to retain a smidge of individuality The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? That was pressure. Some threats, even. Uh, resisting change seemed... senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher. If I put my foot down. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore. Former clients never liked Corpos, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say, I hoped you'd say something else. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. 
I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, I should have feared the passing of all the things I knew. Can't imagine how Johnny felt. <laughs> Waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Can't say I like that. Hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening kind. Said you could do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. See, Vic? Told you. No going back. I'm limited. You're a corpo ripper. You make it sound like you've got nothing to look forward to. You've changed, yes, but you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Friend of yours? Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. <sighs> Same guys again. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltzed out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Drop it. Leave me alone. Hmm. Uh, nope. Show me the money. 
Knew a few peeps here. They'd see this as a fucking problem. Some boss dog gonna scare me? <laughs> Padre instills a fear of God and man. <laughs> oh, rogue cooped on Las Haywood. I don't think so. Booyah! <laughs> V? You... What happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. The jacket you're wearing. Jackie's? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? Heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I'm fine. Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, Misty. It wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. <laughs> Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Lucky you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. <laughs> Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just... Darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Ain't <laughs> your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving. Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Hmm. Is that not to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city, and the crowds. So, you're finally leaving. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? <laughs> Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. 
decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. <sighs> Sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you. I do. You have helped. By staying alive. <laughs> you know what, Misty? Thanks. Likewise, V. <sighs> could use a smoke, too. Here. <sighs> Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Misty, can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not? Always had something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. Flat on its ass. Like it was when you came back from Atlanta? Like after Compeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. <sighs> FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me... It'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. <laughs> you know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Done all, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Fair world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so. What the fuck happened to her hair?
maybe. I wouldn't mind knowing how you met. Bang the awaits. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You were doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truth to me, I let you down. I let so me down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn. Ah, you drop me a line. Didn't quite work out. Our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. For me, at least. You think you'd be up for that? And that would be it for Phantom Liberty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I hope you guys stick around because I'll have more stuff, more games to play. And yeah. Peace out everybody.